Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Delhi Tarot and these are your full moon reading for the sun, moon and the rising sign of Sagittarius. Sagittarius, please keep in mind that this is your general reading for the full moon. My apologies for doing it a little late. I was busy in the festival of Holi at my place where I stay and post that I went out of place with my family so it got little delayed but i thought of completing it before i start the monthly readings for the month of april 2022 so this is a general full moon reading and it is valid from now till the next full moon and this is for sun moon and rising sagittarius i always request you if you really like what i do please do like subscribe the channel and put on the notification and yes an important announcement be with me till the end of the video I have, uh, with my angel communication, I have mentioned few remedies for you which are very, very effective to bring money, career, you know, abundance, growth, expansion in your life. Now, I have three numbers with me, number one, number two, and number three. At the end of the video, I'm going to tell you which is the remedy inside each number and with each number, I'm going to give you a specific angel card message. So please be with me and see which number is attracting or you are getting pulled out with a number and which is the number which is coming to your mind the most from number one, two and three. That remedy, that message will be meant for you. Okay, I shall share this at the end of the video. Now let me see what is your general what is your general monology saying? Sun, moon and rising. Sagittarius, full moon reading. Valid from now till next one month. Okay. We have the energy is gaining momentum. We have emotions are running high. And the last message from Moonology is the end of a tough cycle approaches. Okay, let me see what is your energy for this one month from this moon, full moon till next full moon. What is your energy? Okay, you have appreciation from all walk of life. Lovely. And let me see. What do we have with tarot? I love mirroring these cards with my tarot. It gives great insight, clarification and way forward. Sun, moon and rising Sagittarius. What do we need to know? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? We have queen of pentacles. We have the Wheel of Fortune. That's a major arcana card. And this is Queen of Pentacle is mirroring the energy gaining momentum. Wheel of Fortune is mirroring emotions are running high. And the end of tough cycle is with five of cups. Okay, I want you to clarify five of cups also. It is four of wands. That's a lovely energy. Okay. Now, if I see your overall moonology energy, you have one waxing moon, super moon and full moon. So there are a lot of situations which are coming to an end. I see, I sense that you're filtering your things from your personal and professional life. You are, you are, you are moving towards prioritizing your things. What do you need in personal life? What do you want in professional life? You're getting clearer and clearer day by day. You are chalking out things which are not meant for you, which you are not getting resonated with, which you feel is not the worth of your time, energy and money. And with these full moons, I see that you are ent entering into a complete different life cycle now. The first card of Monology says that the energy is gaining momentum. Now, this is your energy to live life, to relive life and to grow more in your life. And this is something wherein you're, you want to use the wisdom and knowledge completely. You want to use the experience completely. And I also sense that if you are moving towards a new target, something new you have made, you are picking up on those new goals, settings, targets, and you're very clear about 
uh, your way forward you don't want to bring anything in between uh, i mean um, neither the situations nor the people between you are too focused about your work and this is a very clear card to me i'm getting huge energies from this card that you're very very you're getting very practical you're very, getting very logical and rational on your professional front and this is too good that this is really going to this is needed by you in time to come and slowly and steadily you will see that just in a matter of 4 to 5 months you will be on a different platform of your life absolutely stunning and then you also have a card of emotions are running high now when you're filtering things when i was sensing that you're filtering things from your life and i i mean to say people also you know you're trying to balance out between your emotions and practical aspects of your life and the emotions are running high in the sense you're getting it difficult to let go of something some relationships some people some things from your life and that is why you know your emotions are coming in between again and again in the practicality of your life but yes this is a temporary phase you will be able to balance out things nicely and i already shared that you are almost at the end of a difficult cycle of your life you know the struggles the obstacles the delays now you're moving into that phase wherein you will see a lot of actions you know your good karma coming back to you in a form of a good deed and the things are going to you know uh, will come into shape will come into action and it is going to be a very fast action from now and onwards you will see things moving very very fast in comparison to any other time of your life but you are definitely moving into a very prosperous state of your life for sure and the overall energies for this one month full moon is going to be appreciation which means that from all areas of life in personal life and professional life you are going to be appreciated for the kind of effort time and energy you have put into things into relationship into your work this is the time when you are going to really get a great word of appreciation great amount of money profits from your the past efforts because now your past efforts are going to pay you off very well and please know that from now you are going to see only your graph is going to only move in the upward direction with this card of appreciation you will you will grow step by step quickly and there is a very uh, extreme positive movement in terms of professional life it is really going to happen faster from now now with this card you have queen of pentacles you have a uh, you're gaining great wisdom about money it is not like that that you were not having that but now you believe more into stability you believe more into the wisdom of money around you how you're going to use it how you're going to have a financial stable career or money situation around you and you will be using your funds in a much better way than any other time and you will be able to control the stuff the financial stuff nicely in your uh, in time to come you have a change time now you are already there i don't sense that it is going to come it is already there and you are going to sense it in time to come you know it is it is definitely changing wheel of fortune is definitely a luck abundance and it says the time has changed it is giving you abundance prosperity and it is moving into a positive direction wheel of fortune says that if there were delays stagnancy in your work it has changed the time has changed the stars has changed and you are going to get the due of your fortune for sure now when you are ending up a few cycle you know you are ending up with those people situation or associations or alliances or partnerships wherein you feel that you were disappointed you were not reciprocated the way you expected or you were not getting the the money of your time you were not getting the respect of your time and energies but yes there is you don't have to feel uh, you know so much disappointed about it because whatever has happened your experience your exposure is going to help you out very nicely in making a very very solid foundation from now look at this four of wands it is definitely going to help you out in making a solid foundation and it is going to make a better base from you from this point of time okay now let us see what messages do we have with these numbers i'm talking about number 1 now 
and it says burn a bay leaf every full moon for a wish fulfillment now the full moon is already there it is uh, it was on 18th of march but whenever you are seeing this reading there is there is nothing to worry without seeing the date or time you don't have to worry about it now you can burn that bay leaf let me show you a bay leaf i and you can find it easily from any grocery or a herb shop you can write your name here you can write your date of birth and be very very specific about a wish fulfillment you know if you have three to four things in your mind just see which what is that you know the the best priority the most important priority in your mind you write it here you can also make dollar signs and you can burn it every full moon it is a really really effective uh, remedy to get your wish fulfillment now when you will see the reading for the first time you can do it then and there be very careful you know and because it's you have to take due precaution while burning it you can lit a candle and then you can burn it and you can throw the ashes but be very careful while you are using this remedy and this is going to be a very powerful remedy for a wish fulfillment now let me see what is the message for people who have opted for number 1 today let me pull out the angel message card angels and spirit what do we need to know about people who have opted for number 1 today who have opted for number 1 today and it is remain positive <laughs> look at the card it tells that even there is something in your mind while you are opting for number 1 and if you are feeling oh this is my wish since long and and it is not getting fulfilled what should i do the angels are telling you to remain positive because the intention plays the most important role in our life the more you are clear about your intention you are more specific about your intention the more you are sticking to your intention it is going to be with you it is going to get fulfilled very soon so remain positive to people who are from number 1 now people who opted for number 2 the message is burning a green candle for money and pink for relationship is really going to help you out now when i say burning a green candle for money it really brings abundance prosperity and growth you can buy any size of candle maybe small or big you can burn it daily for 15 to 20 minutes at the time convenient to you and you need less to worry about the size and the 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 fragrance of a candle it is just what is easily available to you and a pink candle for improving your personal and professional relationship now i usually have these big size candles because i you know i really love burning candles i feel that they are always healing us but you can always buy a small candle so that you can burn it in just 15 to 20 minutes and you can either burn it one by one or maybe simultaneously there is no harm in that now let me see what is the message related to number 2 okay people who opted for number 2 message please forgiveness you have to think about it what is it you need to forgive person place situation or yourself it's a food for thought but yes forgiveness is going to play a major role from this point of time it is going to clear up your path forward and it is going to close all the past karma with anyone with any situation or maybe even with yourself you know forgiveness is many times it's not easy it's difficult but if you feel that you need to forgive somebody or some place some situation or even yourself you can always seek the power to forgive if you find it difficult when you seek power to forgive it really helps now let me see what is the remedy with people who have opted for number 3 and it is You need to remove all blockages this full moon burn a black candle for removal and white candle for path forward now let me show you my black candle i usually burn it every day and i love burning it like this you can have a look and i really feel that it removes all blockages hexes any negativity around and it really helps you know in bringing the good energy now this is a very big cycle big candle and it takes generally 2 to 3 hours but you can always buy a small size black candle and you can again burn it simultaneously along with white candle or maybe one by one the way you feel that whatever is easily available to you whichever time is convenient you don't have to stick about a particular time date and burning it daily for 15 20 minutes along with a white candle is really really very effective in bringing the prosperity growth 
clearance, blockages removal and bringing new things into your life for sure. Now let me see what is the message related to number three. What is the message related to people who have opted for number three today? Let me see the message and it is get more information. Now if you are planning to start something new, I sense that or if you want to take a major decision in your life, personal and professional both, the angels are telling you it's important for you to get more and more primary information. Do not move into judgments. Do not move into assumptions. Do not second guess. You know, try to get the right information from the right place and try to get it yourself and verify that information and again and again before taking that decision or making a move forward. It is really very important for you at this point of time. So dear friends, do let me know that how you resonated with this reading this time and how you liked about the remedy. I will see you next time very soon. Be blessed.